Um, I am super excited to hear this music and to hear it with you. We're so thankful for all of, our, all of our parents and ASO board members for hopping on this. We have almost 70 people. I definitely want to give a big shout out to the ASO and thank them for allowing us and allowing our students this opportunity. It was a fantastic three weeks. We were super busy recording music. And like I said, I just can't wait to hear what, what your children came up with. And so I'm going to turn it over to our two special guests who really made this whole thing happen. And then they're gonna introduce some other special guests that also were a, a major part in this. And so I'm gonna introduce Mr. Dan Trahey and Mr. Pete Tashin. What's up everybody? Thanks so much for being here. This is so super cool. Um, the students of the SO Sympatico program are absolutely amazing, electric, creative individuals, and this has just been so fun. Um, and thank you, thank you so much for being here. Uh, I have the pleasure of uh, introducing our entire cast of uh, characters. So first, I think, and most importantly, I'd like to introduce the students of the Alexandria Symphony Sympaticos program. What's up, guys? Our young composers, amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, next, I'm going to go through the Sympatico staff. Um, you guys already heard from our fearless leader, Mr. Tillman. What's up, Kyle? Nice to see you. Um, we also have Abigail Weber with us. Hi, Abigail. And Nick Rowe. And Miss Cindy. And family. <laughs> and Mr. Horner. Woo. These are incredible teachers. Um, anything that we throw at them, they can hit and they can hit it out of the park. Um, great musicians, really good pedagogues, um, and just really fun people to work with. Um, and you guys are really lucky, as you know already, to have these, uh, these folks around you all the time. Um, I'd like to introduce the Collective Conservatory folks that are with us and worked on this project. Um, with us, I'm just looking at the camera to, make, to see who we have with us. Um, a recent graduate of SUNY Purchase, and um, I'm very proud of this because he's one of my former students, although he didn't learn anything that he's doing on these projects from me. Uh, I'd like to welcome Bobby Woody. What's up, Bobby? I'm good, thank you. Thanks for saving my behind all the time with this stuff too. <laughs> Thanks nice for having me on. Absolutely. And um, do we have Nima with us? Hi, Nima Robinson. Everybody, everybody. Nima's a senior in Baltimore. Um, she's already um, auditioned and gotten into a bunch of music schools. And um, she grew up in a program very similar to you guys um, in Baltimore called Orchids and then at Peabody called Tuned In. Um, we have a wonder, wonderful vocalist with us who you may have heard singing with the National Symphony last year um, as a soloist in Carmina Brana. Hi, Amy Owens. How you doing? Good, hello. Thank you so much for being here. And uh, do we have Mr. Jaleel Missouri with us as well today? All right, we're missing one. Well, good thing we have so many staff members or we, uh, we'd have an issue right now. So this was our team. Um, and um, I'm, everyone's gonna go, other people are gonna go into the process of how we do this work. But I just want to say for one second that we really believe that the, the students of the Alexandria Symphony are composers. They really, really are composers. Uh, Linda Bunce and I were uh, on the phone yesterday thinking about the history of this project. And some of the students um, on, on this Zoom call have done upwards of 13 compositions with us, which I was thinking like at that age, that might be like Mozart status, right? I mean, it's just abs absolutely amazing. Um, and that's just such a wonderful thing to see students who are not only really good at their instruments, um, but also really, really good at uh, expressing themselves and, um, you know, accentuating their own voices. So let's get into accentuating those voices. Um, I, I want, Bobby, could you talk a little bit about uh, the first track that we're going to play today? Um, yeah, so the first track is the, the choir track. It's called Love Is. Basically, I was uh, working um, with everybody's, like every day, all the students were uh we were sending us a whole 
bunch of recordings um and we started with a, a nice little starting track uh made by pete thank you for that um and basically what i would do is i would download everything uh put it into my program and i at first i tried to line it up to the starting track but as we got more and more recordings we uh um i didn't need the starting track and i could just put on a couple instruments and, and chop up like you guys' voices and instruments and I put some drums over it. And I try to use as many people's uh, recordings as possible. And that's what we're about to hear. But yeah, give me a second. It's a nice concert hall you're in there, Bobby. Thanks, man. It's the Walt Disney Concert Hall, I think. Um, let me pull up the file. Uh, okay. Can you guys hear it? Oh, wait, let me share this. Nice. Hey, Bobby, I could play this one if you want me to. Uh, yeah, actually, here it is. Oh, cool. Cool. Sorry about that. No worries. Just building the suspense. I like it. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> it's Let worth me know it. if you can hear it. Uh... You're good. Fun fact, I was going to say that uh, every like drum sound that came from like 
some of the found sound you guys sent me. So you guys killed that. <laughs> Woo! Amazing. Nice job, everybody. Thank you. Um, but yeah, thank you. So Simpatico students, does anyone want to respond to that a little bit? Tell us what they thought. If you want to, you could um, raise your hand. Or even a, a parent. That would be cool, too. We'd love to hear from... Teddy, start us out today. <laughs> really, really good. Really, really, yes. Thank you. Mary, go ahead. Take it away. That was epic. And I want to know, how did you edit that so much? Uh, I use this program called FL Studio. Um, and it took me a second at first to organize your sounds. But since I did, I could just move them around however I wanted to. Thank you. So any of the, um, the adults on the, on the call, um, if you have any questions, you could put them in the chat or just raise your hand too and we'll, we'll answer questions as well. Um, I think Ella wants to give us a little something. Go for it, Ella. Okay. I agree with Miriam, Mary about how that is epic and about how the track went with the first beginning that almost sounded like techno to me. Because I almost know, because I know what techno sounds like. Hi. The beginning almost sounded like techno. Oh. Yeah, it was kind of techno y. Yep. My brother's going to be with me the rest of the time, so if you see him pop up, that's okay. <laughs> we hope he enjoys the music. Jamia, do you have a comment to add? Yes. I liked how it sounded a lot and like how he just like put the all everything together and then just made it into this big like nice song pretty good thank you thank you it's all arrangement anyone else on that one Sasha? i'm so proud of you guys for being uh so bold with your speaking today that's beautiful <laughs> sasha has her hand up go ahead sasha the recording was beautiful Thank you so much. That's you guys. That's your recordings. I just put them together. Cynthia, did you have something to add? I see your hand up there. That was the epic. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that's so great. I love it. Well, I, um, go you? ahead. I'm a parent as well. No, I just want to say I come to the concert every year, and I really wanted to see how you're going to handle the situation being that, you know, uh, virtual and all, but I, you just never cease to amaze me. I'm, I'm just blown away by what you guys are able to do. Thank you. Very impressive. Thank you for coming. Yeah, Mir Miriam, that's, thank you for that. Um, Pete, I wonder if you would just talk a little bit about what, what this magic is. Like, what, what is it that we're actually doing here? Is it madness or is it magic? I'm not sure which one it is, but it it yields some pretty pretty awesome stuff. Hey everybody, how's it going? That's a weird introduction, but I'm happy to be here with you all. Um, yeah, so we actually start off with uh, on this project. We started off with um, some composed material from an artist uh, in Chicago named Paul Bedal. Uh, he's somebody that we've worked with um, in Collective Conservatory a number of times. Um, and he composed, composed three pieces for us. Um, and they sort of, you know, through, through the three weeks that we spent together composing over them, became brand new pieces of music um, through the work with the students. And, and so how we sort of start this is we have these, these beginning tracks that are pretty open and pretty um, create a lot of space. And then we have students improvise a little bit and uh, begin to come up with parts over these 
these tracks. And, and Logan, I'm wondering if you could take yourself off mute since we're talking about instruments. Logan, can you hear me? Can you play your your um, your xylophone for us a little bit? Yeah, but something weird going on with my computer. Oh gosh, it happens almost every Some, day, right? Something something just happened. I I was listening, and then everything just started to go all different colors on my screen. My skin is like light green and my hair is white and my shirt is black Brown. well we can and actually logan we can actually hear you we can hear you pretty well right now can you play that that xylophone a little bit we can just hear what it sounds like nice shirt yes thank you it can change whoa whoa dress up for the concert i like it can we hear your xylophone logan yes yes you can Hold on. Okay. So I think this is a good example of like the situations that a lot of our students are dealing with as far as am, noise in the home. I'm going to play it, but I'm trying to make my little brother be quiet. He did not go to the babysitter today because of the ice on the road. Gotcha. I, I think it's no big deal. Can you just, just go ahead and play a little bit for us? And because uh, we want to hear okay. that thing. Okie dokie. Okay. okay, so what am I supposed to play? Can you just play anything you want on that xylophone? Oh, no. I'm so can we hear kidding. all the can we hear all the the notes? Yes. I'm going to try to make it sound good. Oh. Let's hear it. That's a pretty good example. Thank you, Logan. Again. Um, I think that's a pretty good example of what we're sort of doing, what we're, we're dealing with. So, you know, students are, are at home dealing with all sorts of different circumstances, but still, if we can get through them and, and, and get some time being creative, working on our instruments, I think we're accomplishing um, our goal. And then, you know, we can turn some of these recordings over to these producers, these young producers who we're working with and uh, and sort of collaborative, collaboratively make a, a piece of music. So Dan, I think we're ready to, are we ready to hear another piece? Yeah, piece Nima, here? can you tell us a little bit about this piece? Hi guys, hi guys. Well, I'm, if you look for my name, you'll see me talking, but I'm going to my phone. Hi guys, so basically I I did the strings track and basically um I took sorry, okay. I took the um um sorry. I took the file that you guys send it in sent in and I made a piece out of it. And my process is kind of just getting the message of love because that's the theme is. And you guys will hear it once you listen to it. Um, oh, and the song is called Irrisal. So I hope you guys like it. Thank you, Nima.
Sorry for the delay here, y'all. Um, Peter, are you playing this one? Yeah, can, can you guys hear this? Does anyone have anything? Thank you. Does anyone have any comments they want to make on that to the whole group? I do. Okay, let's make, sure, let's make sure we're raising our hands. That's totally cool to do. Let's show all your parents that we actually learned something. 
Who wants to say something? Sasha, is it your turn? Go for it. I love everybody. You, yes, it's a very inspiring song for that. Okay, let's hear from the Murphys. Actually, before we hear from the Murphys, we also did a big um, physical fitness thing. Um, so every day we had Gabriel Colby, a trombonist and a physical fitness instructor, come in um, and do some moves with us. And the Murphys have volunteered to show us one of those moves before they comment on the piece. Could you guys just uh, maybe I think we people were asking for the bear. Can we see that? Uh, okay. Um, let's see the first one. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's the crab. Well, wait. What is it? Sorry. What? what? Can we get the frog too? Uh, yes. Which one do you want? Okay. No. Okay. Let's see. 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 Okay. Let's see intentionally with someone so that there wasn't 45 minutes of this going on when we were trying to do music and it works out really really well your students are really good at this type of work this physical fitness stuff was they were really good at it um which was cool okay so now go ahead can you comment on uh, on nima's piece um well the piece was beautiful um everything fit in very well and i'm very surprised everybody put in a lot of things they love, so. The poem was the best part. <laughs> <laughs> Who else? I can't see everybody here. I see Samantha has a hand up. Samantha, let's hear it. I'm proud of everyone that did that singing. They put hard effort in it. Thank you, Samantha. Your contributions are so lovely. It's a, just absolutely amazing to have you around. Yo, I just want to say one more thing. Nima is a senior in high school. She's not that much older than you guys. Um, and this is how she's rolling. It's really cool. Um, and if you want to be a musician too, Simpatico is going to help you do that as a, as a professional. It's totally, totally doable. Um, and Nima is a great example of that. Um, all right, I want to introduce our next producer, um, Jaleel Missouri, who's going to tell you a little bit about uh, what he did with the students' voices. What's up, Jaleel? We're struggling to hear you. Hello? We got you. Okay, cool. So, so I basically just added like some effects on the vocals and um, implemented the kids playing. So yeah, and I added my own instrumentation too, so it can feel more collaborative. And my so track is called um, Love is Special. So Jalil, you've done a bunch of this work live with us before, right? You've done a bunch of collective composition um, you know, when we're together. Um, yes. How, how is this process different? Um, and yeah, that's my first question. How is, how is this one different than when we do it live? Um, it's different because you have to be like a little more patient and the kids were very engaged. They were like, they brought so much energy and they made the process so much easier, so much funner too. Cause sometimes, sometimes like, as you can see, struggles with the computer can make everything a little bit slower and uh, tedious, but they made everything so much fun. That's beautiful. Yeah, one thing I'm finding out is that our student producers are really patient with this technology. And that's, that's helping some of us adults out there used to just like, you know, moving the baton and then there's sound that's, that's made. Um, and that's not what's going on right now. So, um, Jaleel, thank you so much for your patience. And thank you so much for bringing so much um, 
to these kids' voices. Um, can you tell us the name of the piece one more time? And let's hear it. Love is special. Love is everywhere. Love is special. for other people and putting their needs above your own. Love is a feeling of care. The feeling of having everything you want. Love uh -huh, uh -huh. is easy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is taking a lot of time. Oh, wait, that is beautiful. It is almost nice. Each one of them has their own style, which is beautiful. No, I didn't. Did I? Ooh, that was mine. Oh, yeah. My banana peel looks like a fern. I appreciate your guys' restraint today by using the mute button. That's pretty amazing. We're, we're showing our guests and our visitors a, a lot of restraint, which is beautiful. Speaking of our guests and visitors, maybe we could hear first from you and just some comments about uh, how you guys are feeling, Jaleel's track or, or anything else that you're seeing here today. Miss Cynthia or Mr. Jim. Not to put you all on the spot, but just. Oh, I'm just so happy and proud of you guys. I mean, like, um, you know, a lot of us musicians, 
we didn't grow up composing. We just grew up trying to play other people's notes that they wrote. And I'm just so happy for you and for your generation that you guys are, um, you're just creators that you, that you can perform stuff, but you can also make um and yeah i'm just finding it all beautiful i hear lots of references to other musics kind of um pop musics or indie rocks that i love um yeah and so i'm just thrilled and i'm wondering whether anybody conducted along with any of the tracks <laughs> <laughs> jim thank you so much for being here today and you're you're so modest but y'all you, you know this is jim ross he's the music director and conductor of the alexandria symphony and one of the absolute nicest and best musicians i've ever met in my entire life thank wow, you so much thank for being you mr here. dan that's amazing <laughs> um they know me a little bit because we all did some conducting lessons back in the fall so i'm really happy to know them better and they're all going to be on the stage with the alexandria symphony at the end of next year when we finally premiere the piece that was written for us yeah, yeah. cool yeah very very cool all right, y'all. So we've done so many workshops with you. You guys are composing in your classrooms and all that. Um, but we have some things that we'd like you to, th to, to think about and to work on um, before we see you again. We have one more workshop with you in, um, I don't know, sometime in the spring. We haven't uh, got it together yet. But um, in the time between when we're here right now and when we see you again, there's a few things that we just want you uh, to work on. Um, Amy, do you want to talk about that a little bit? Yes, of course. So when we were thinking about what we could ask you guys to work on, it actually came from you. So in our singing sessions, um, those of you who are in my breakout room, I noticed that a lot of you were inspired by things that you're hearing all the time. And like Mr. Jim just said, he heard a lot of influences from pop and indie rock. And that's because a lot of that is just what you're listening to in your homes or you're hearing it on the radio. And the more you listen to a variety of music, the better composers you're going to be because you're going to be inspired by different kinds of sounds. And the beauty about singing is that you don't have to know all the notes on an instrument. You can just use your ear and sort of imitate the sounds. Like Eamon was imitating an instrumental line from his video game. I heard a lot of, let's see, Brianna was um, singing a pop song and then it turned into a composition. So I want you all to try to listen to a, a bigger variety of music. Um, give me a thumbs up if you think you can find some music to listen to. Cool, and then sing along with it. Do you think you can sing along? And then maybe just like you did with these tracks, just improvise in your home a little bit and then switch the song to something totally different. Cool. That's one idea. So singing in the shower does work. Oh, it absolutely works. Yes, wow. good resonance in there. It's my favorite spot to sing too. Amazing, thank you, Amy. Um, and Bobby, you've got some advice for us on how we can get better at our, uh, our computer chops and all that, eh? Sorry, I was muted. But yeah, uh, so the cool thing about music production is that even though ages ago, everybody had to have maybe like a lot of expensive equipment and studios are now, uh, now we can do it all like on our computers and on our phones. So like what you guys were doing for this whole process was sending us recordings that you recorded on your computer or, or your phone. I would say one step above that is learning how to alter those recordings yourself. Um, I personally use a program called FL Studio and this other thing called Pro Tools, but there's a bunch of things out there that are, are free that also work very well. We have this software called um, BandLab, where if you ever want to go online, bandlab.com. Um, basically, you can do all the things that I, I've been doing with my tracks, like on there. I even have like... Um, <clears throat> I have this uh, this how-to uh, document that I'm gonna drop in in the chat in just a second, but uh, yeah. So Band Live is super cool, and and even cooler about it, you can do the things that we were doing with your friends. Basically, you can send the link to your homie, and they can also um, edit the same song that you might want to work on. Um, and I'm gonna just drop this 
how to in the chat real quick. But yeah, I, I would recommend trying to uh, produce your own songs, compose anytime you can. It doesn't have to be like practicing. It's more just like playing around until you make something you like. Bobby, thank you so much. Uh, speaking of uh, playing what you like, can we listen to uh, another track from you? Yes, yes. So this last track I'm gonna play is uh, my variation of the string track. Uh, again, I tried to get as much of you guys as recording in as possible. Um, and I already have this one queued up. So let me just share my audio. song had more string stuff in it um more of me playing with the drums and i changed the chords around just so it's not the same as the other string track um and just as fun to make you're amazing bobby it's incredible um does anyone have any comments they want to make on that one alex it looks like you had something you wanted to say but can i share my my recording Go for it. You need to share this. Um, how do you share your screen? Uh, press share. I don't know. You press it. Uh huh. There. Okay. Now play it. I go play sword games. <laughs> that you know that that was so yeah. cool well do we have any questions out there for our students from uh for many of the adults any of the board members anyone i can't see everyone so you could just the adults you could click off mute if you wanted to ask a question question 
I'm sorry, could you repeat that? I will ask a question. Who would you like to direct your question towards? No, it was actually a question to you. Oh, let's save that one for later. Let's ask some questions of, the, of all these guys. Okay. Does anyone have any questions for these, uh, for these young composers? They love to be asked things. Ellie, you got a question? Hardest parts of the composition for it. Can you repeat the question? What's the hardest part? And who are you directing your question at? All the composers. Jaleel, you want to take that one? Yeah, um, the hardest part to me is um, just basically singling out what you want because there's a lot of good stuff, but you can't put like every single thing on one track. Um, so yeah, just picking out which ones I like the most because I like all of them. Great question, Ella. Got a so good cool. question in the chat to, to the producers, the composer friends. Do you start with the bigger picture or with the smaller pieces when creating? Um, I'll say that I start with the, a lot of small pieces. And, and when I get enough small pieces to make a big piece, then it's about the big piece. But yeah, a lot of the smaller stuff, like like mainly like choosing the best parts or or... or or like Jalil said, finding the best sounds because you guys sent us a lot of great stuff and having to, to just pick one, super hard. I can make like four more songs out of what you guys sent us. Yeah, and I'll kind of just piggyback off that bit. Because all of the recording tracks were coming to me, the, the kids were just doing an amazing job. I don't know how many we ended up with, but I feel like I must have been forwarding at least 30 plus every time we met and then others on the days we didn't meet so I can only imagine how many that they were going through to choose all the different parts it, it, it was it probably seemed pretty endless and they were all great uh, simpatico teachers any any of you all want to uh, make any comments or or say a big hello or talk I'd about the I'd just like to thank all the kids for overcoming all the different challenges that they may have faced in making this happen. Um, you know, some of them didn't have a set of headphones on hand or a separate device ready to make the recording over the guide track. And, you know, they had to be resourceful in order to get these recordings to us. Some of them had difficulty sending the recordings and, um, you know, we, we had to work with that. So, but in the end, I'm pretty sure just about everybody's voice was heard in this entire multi ensemble group. So that's just really wonderful. And I'm so amazed and, you know, just humbled by all the, the effort and the perseverance uh, that, that had to come through in order to make these songs happen. And thank you, a big thank you to the parents too for helping them because I know like Miss Cindy said, when when they didn't have a device at the time or whatever it might have been that I know you guys really stepped in to help them out with that in the evenings and, and on weekends. So thank you for that so that they had their opportunity to get their voice in, in these songs. And I think that perseverance that Miss Cindy's talking about could go right back to the ASO teachers and the John Adams teachers who have been through a lot since a year ago and are still here and still consistently seeing you all. Like, can we just give them, I don't know how we do this, but can we give them a virtual hug and some love there? It's, it's serious, y'all. These are some serious people that are loving you right now. Raylan said it best in her little poem, I think. I think her love for you guys really, you know, shows your all's dedication, so. 
All right. Anything else? Someone want someone want to close us out? Can I can can I have our our kids say a big thank you to Mr. Dan and Mr. Pete, Miss Amy, Mr. Jaleel, Mr. Bobby, and Miss Nima because they they really are the ones that put put the extra time in and really made this happen. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Very much. Thank you. 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 Thank you, everybody, for taking the time to be with us this evening. Have a great rest of your night, and we look forward to the next one. You can you can now go have dinner. We got a lot of messages about when this is going to be over.